The sun is literally flipping. You heard right. Scientists say the sun's poles are shifting. No, it's not a solar tantrum, but an intriguing cosmic event. Picture this, a giant star, our sun, in the vast expanse of space, suddenly flipping its magnetic field. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? But only, this is real, and it happens every 11 years. The last one was in 2013, so you don't have to be Albert Einstein to figure out when the next one will take place. Yes, that's right, the next reversal is this year, 2024. So you might say, what's the big deal? It happened in 2013 and we're fine. However, scientists think this one will be both epic and terrifying. I'm going to break this down and speaks about the impacts that such an event could have on us, so stay tuned. But before I get further into this, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on what you think could happen. Now let me break this down. This solar pole swap is part of a grander cycle, leading to a peak in solar activity known as the solar maximum. It's like the sun's version of spring cleaning, except it affects the entire solar system. Just like Earth, the sun has two magnetic poles, the north and the south. Every 11 years, the sun's polar magnetic fields weaken, drops to zero, and then re-emerge with greater energy, but in reversed polarity, meaning the north pole becomes the south and vice versa. It's not the flip itself that is scary. Imagine this. Currently, the sun is experiencing intense magnetic activity, being more active than it has been in over a decade. During these periods, the sun showcases dramatic displays, including solar flares and mass ejections, which scientists refer to as solar storms. Imagine these as colossal explosions that hurl charged particles out of the sun, sending them speeding across the solar system at hundreds of thousands of kilometers per hour. Typically, these particles can reach Earth within just three days. This flip is a part of the sun's solar cycle, a cycle that sees the sun's magnetic field grow in strength, then flip and finally decay, only to grow again. This cycle affects everything from sunspots to solar flares. Remember that massive tornado on the sun, releasing a cloud of hot gas six times the size of Earth? Or those giant holes appearing on the sun, releasing high-speed solar winds towards Earth? Yep, those are some of the sun's many moods during its solar cycle. So just like your laundry schedule, the sun has its own calendar. Only instead of dirty socks, it flips its magnetic field. The sun doesn't send us a calendar invite for this event. So how do scientists predict when the next flip will occur? Well, they look for signs like an increase in solar activity. You see, the sun doesn't flip its magnetic field overnight. It's a gradual process that happens over the course of the solar cycle. The cycle begins with a period of low solar activity known as the solar minimum. As we move towards the middle of the cycle, solar activity increases, leading to more sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections. This period, known as the solar maximum, is when the flip is most likely to occur. But the sun is a bit of a mystery, and it doesn't always stick to the script. In the past, solar cycles have varied in length from 9 to 14 years, which means the exact timing of the flip can be a bit unpredictable. But don't worry, scientists are keeping a close watch on our star tracking its every burp and hiccup to ensure we're not caught off guard when the flip happens. So keep your eyes on the sun this year. It's not just another leap year, but also a leap in the sun's magnetic journey. What happens on the sun doesn't stay on the sun, but don't worry, you won't need to apply extra sunscreen. When the sun flips its magnetic field, it has a ripple effect on our planet. But don't start building your doomsday bunker. The Earth's magnetic field could be affected. And, according to scientists, the Earth's magnetic poles are also shifting. So there still lies an unknown in this cosmic mix. But here's what we do know could happen from the Carrington event in 1859, which was the worst solar storm in history. Let's start with the weather. You might think that a magnetic flip on the sun would make Earth's weather go haywire. But relax, your beach vacation is safe. The sun's magnetic flip doesn't directly affect our day-to-day -day weather. It doesn't mean we'll suddenly have snow in the Sahara or tornadoes in Tokyo. However, it does have an indirect influence on our climate. The sun's magnetic flip is part of a larger solar cycle that can slightly alter Earth's overall temperature. But we're talking about a change so small, you wouldn't notice unless you're a climate scientist. Now, let's talk about solar storms. These are like the sun's version of a tantrum, spewing out a burst of radiation and charged particles. A solar storm during a magnetic flip can be a bit more intense. If one of these storms reaches Earth, it can cause some beautiful natural light shows known as auroras. Imagine the sky lit up with a dance of colors like a giant cosmic disco. 
but it's not all light shows and rainbows. These solar storms can also play havoc with our technology. They can disrupt power grids, satellite communications, and even your GPS. Imagine you're driving to a new place and suddenly your GPS starts directing you to Antarctica. Or you're watching your favorite show and the TV signal goes fuzzy. That's a solar storm at work. So, while the sun's magnetic flip might not mean the end of the world, it does remind us that we're part of a larger cosmic dance. It's like the sun is the DJ at a party, and sometimes it decides to drop the beat. So next time your TV signal goes fuzzy, it might just be the sun playing cosmic DJ. Now to the million dollar question, does this solar flip-flop affect us, the Earthlings? First, the good news. When the sun's magnetic field flips, it supercharges the solar winds, which interact with our planet's magnetosphere. In simple terms, this creates a light show that would leave even the most extravagant rock concert in the dust. Yes, we're talking about the magnificent auroras, those dreamy dancing lights in the sky. So, if you're a fan of natural spectacles, this solar activity is your VIP pass to a cosmic ballet. However, with every silver lining comes a cloud. On the flip side, these solar activities can play the role of a cosmic party crasher. As mentioned earlier, they can disrupt our satellite communications, so your favorite reality TV show might be interrupted by static and distortions. Not a big deal, you might think. But consider this. Our modern world is heavily reliant on satellite technology. Everything from weather forecasting to GPS navigation to even our power grids could be affected. Imagine you're expecting a crucial email, and suddenly your internet goes for a toss, but it gets worse. Fires could ignite all over the world costing trillions of dollars in damages, putting lives at risk and displacing communities. That's what a solar flip could do. Moreover, these solar storms can pose a significant threat to astronauts aboard the International Space Station or any deep space missions. While the Earth's magnetic field protects us on the ground, astronauts out there have limited shielding. It's like being caught in a downpour with just a flimsy umbrella. However, let's not forget that we have been through numerous solar flips in the past and we're still here, aren't we? Yes, there might be disruptions, but they are temporary and we always bounce back. So while the sun's flip might throw our tech off balance, it sure does balance it out with some celestial light shows. Before you start building a solar storm bunker, let's talk about staying safe. The sun's magnetic field flip can indeed cause a stir, but we're not entirely at the mercy of our solar overlord. There are several measures, both on individual and organizational levels, that can be taken to mitigate its impacts. Firstly, let's talk about space weather forecasting. It's like your regular weather forecast, but instead of predicting rain or shine, it's all about solar storms and coronal mass ejections. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory and the European Space Agency's Vigil Mission are leading the charge in this field. They work tirelessly to keep an eye on the sun's activity and provide us with advanced warnings of any space weather events. So keeping tabs on these forecasts is the first step in staying safe. It's like checking the weather before heading out, but this time you're checking for solar flares instead of thunderstorms. Next, let's discuss technology protection measures. Our modern world is intertwined with technology and a significant solar event could disrupt power grids, GPS signals, and satellite communications. Imagine trying to navigate to your favorite coffee shop without Google Maps. A nightmare, right? To prevent such a scenario, organizations can implement safeguards such as surge protectors and Faraday cages to protect critical infrastructure. On an individual level, the advice is similar. Keeping electronic devices unplugged and inside a microwave or an old metal box during a severe solar storm can protect them from damage. And no, you don't have to live in a cave. Simply having a backup plan in case of a temporary power or communication disruption can also go a long way. You could invest in a battery pack or a generator in case the electricity goes out. Remember, with the right preparation, we can not only survive the sun's magnetic flip, but also appreciate this cosmic ballet. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. Don't forget to turn on notifications on all your devices.